All right, today's weather was crazy. Going back to this morning, we'd had some rain showers, camera bouncing a little bit because we had quite a bit of wind out there. And then that rain got really heavy. We saw some brightening of the sky right before sunset, and it's a sign of things being better tomorrow. But it's still windy out there tonight. 51 degrees, our high today, fifth, or our current reading, 59 our high today, 37 our low this morning and right at two and a half inches of rain at PTI. You can see the bands of rain that roll through and you can see how it's all done now. We got some snow showers rolling into the mountain storm reports. We had a number of those today as the line moved through. It was mostly either strong winds, wind damage or flooding. And that's what we saw a lot of out there today and across the whole state and the region. You can see all the storm reports that we had out there. Tornadoes, there was a concern today that that could happen. Odds and uh, numbers given to us by Storm Prediction Center were actually pretty high, but we only had two in the Carolinas and they were both in South Carolina. One was a funnel cloud and another was an actual tornado touchdown. We may learn of more because there was something in Catawba County some folks are saying they think was a tornado, but we don't have any confirmation on that yet. And as we look across the area, we also had a lot of rain, a quarter of very heavy rain from Randolph and far eastern parts of Davidson back through Guilford, parts of uh, Alamance and back into Caswell and southeastern Rockingham a four inches plus for a lot. Otherwise, it was generally a one to three inch rain for most other areas. Wind gust today peaked at 47 in Greensboro and High Point and 49 in Burlington. We had also a 56 down in the Charlotte Metro today. Now wind gust out there tonight are at 36 in Burlington's last report is still at 49 miles per hour. Now temperatures tonight are in the low 50s in the triad with 40s back in the western Piedmont and foothills and 20s and 30s in the mountains where snow showers are already coming in and the last of the storms are working off the coast. And even though we called them storms today, there wasn't a lot of lightning. Most of them were just really heavy showers today. Now the band of uh, moisture over the mountains is going to be going down and falling apart tomorrow and they'll dry out, but we'll all stay breezy tomorrow. And then you see it's pretty quiet for Thursday into Thursday night, but come Friday we got another system coming up and bringing rain back into the Piedmont and then it gets out and again there'll be a few snow showers up in some of the mountains. Then next week it starts turning colder and the next system that comes our way starts to bring that pink shade down here into the Piedmont and temperatures are near freezing and it looks like anything that we get for at least a week or two after that will be in that threat because we're going to be remaining cold. About a half an inch of rain on Friday according to the European model, the American model has come back down to about a third of an inch after earlier it had also set a half inch, but that's a much less amount, lower amount than what we got out there today. 52 at the beach tomorrow, 58 degrees on Thursday. The mountains are 33 and 44. The mountains will be seeing some snow showers tomorrow and then sunshine for Thursday. In the Piedmont tonight, 35, partly cloudy and breezy. And then uh, as we look at tomorrow, mostly sunny and 49 degrees. That 35 was for tonight's low. Now, as we look ahead for the next seven days, 54 degrees Thursday, 56 degrees with rain on Friday. Then over the weekend, we dry out. We start turning a little cooler. Then we stay in the mid 40s Monday. Tuesday, we're down to 38. Chances of precipitation are low, but it's cold enough that if anything falls, it could be something other than just rain. And as we look at the next eight to 12 days, check these numbers out. The 30s continue for at least five more days and lows are in the low 20s. So now that we've got some cold air, what are the snow odds? Well, keep in mind, it's mostly a dry pattern. But next Tuesday, the chances of seeing snow of a tenth of an inch or more is actually 20%. That's the highest we've seen so far this season. That's still very low. Three degree guarantee tomorrow's high temperature, 49 degrees. My guarantee for today was for low this morning of 36 and it was 37. Yeah, with that